Good morning. It is week four of five of the cardiovascular block. Um, and I was planning to vlog this week, but I just got an email from my school saying there's no class because of the coronavirus outbreak. So this week is not going to be as active <laughs> as I thought it would be. But I think I'm still going to vlog it just because this is such a unique time in life to be in medical school during um, just kind of a bit of a chaos in the healthcare world. So I think we're going to vlog it anyways and just see how it goes. I'm kind of excited to have a week just to study because I feel like I'm a little bit behind where I want to be. And so having just like a full week that I can just like get on track sounds great to me so I'm gonna take you along and if I cut it together and it seems good it'll be posted so week four so it is a couple hours later I am currently cooking and watching TV um, and then once I'm done I'm gonna actually start studying for the day I ran some errands I had like a couple more things to grab from the grocery store but I already kind of like stocked up my fridge for like social distancing what are they calling it i don't know i think it's social distancing um basically i'm stuck in the house so i did some meal prepping and i seasoned a bunch of meat in my fridge and bought some like smoothie prep supplies and just started meal prepping for the week so my fridge is very stocked up which is kind of a plus of getting all your loans at the beginning of the semester you kind of just have the money you have um but yeah so i'm cooking more food for this week I have a pasta I made the other day, but I want to have just options for what to eat. Uh, but yeah, once I'm done adulting, I will start studying. Now, a cardiogram of the left ventricle of a patient's heart. You can see there are QRS complexes rolling along the bottom of the screen. And each time there's a QRS complex, the walls of the left ventricle thicken and move towards the middle. You can even try a dozen samples I want just to spice some jerk control here. Okay, so it's the end of the day. I honestly did not get much studying done, but I literally have seven days with nothing to do but study so i'm not beating myself over it up over it um amy came over and we watched the good place and she just saw the season finale like season one finale so this is her reaction and if you've seen the good place you know you know that finale is bomb. Um, but yeah, tomorrow we're going to be more productive. We're going to be on it. We're going to get stuff done. Um, so yeah, see you tomorrow. Happy day two of the quarantine. It's about noon now and I've done nothing. It's great. I slept in. I had like an hour long conversation with my family because they're all quarantined too. And it's nice because this is usually when I'm in class and when they're the most free just because of the time difference. So it was good catching up and everything. Um, but now I still don't want to study. <laughs> so I was digging through my cupboard and I found this like brownie mix. I feel like I probably bought this like on a whim in the beginning when I first moved in. Um, but I don't have like a brownie pan. So I think I'm going to try to make this in a frying pan and see how it goes and then use that as a reward for myself to get myself to study. One video on the internet said I could make brownies like this so so it's been two minutes and I already don't know about this one. I'm calling it this whole place smells burnt. I realized I buttered the sides of the pan and I guess all the butter is burning but like it doesn't look terrible <laughs> I don't know if you can see it but there's like this hole in the brownie that steam is just coming out of oh that was a fun experiment um my apartment is full of smoke now and there are no brownies so I don't know what's going to motivate me to study now. She was productive and watched a couple of Boards and Beyonds videos. But now I'm back in the kitchen because my house is starting to not smell 
burnt. Um, the brownies are definitely total fail. But I also had a thing of cake mix. I was gonna save for a rainy day, but here we are. I'm actually following the instructions this time because I do have a cake tin. Um, but I used almond milk instead of regular milk, so we'll see how it goes. All right, baby, please don't burn. You got this. So I'm about to just get ready to go to bed, but I have to say I'm really enjoying all this free time. I know it's at the expense of like a lot of chaos, but it's just been so peaceful. I kind of love it. or less sodium water, this could raise or lower your blood pressure. Turns out, however, that the body has a sophisticated set of mechanisms to keep the blood pressure relatively constant. Guys, I get so excited when I get a question right that not everybody got right. Like, this was a tough one and I got it. Smart cookie. All right, day three of social distancing, quarantining, being off from school is officially over and Today was pretty good. I relaxed all morning. I went to the pool. I finally scraped um, most of the burntness off of that pan from the brownies yesterday. Um, and then I did a lot of studying this afternoon and then just chilled and watched Netflix. So now I'm about to lounge out, do some journaling, or read the Bible, just chill um because tomorrow i'm going on an adventure so even though we're social distancing um you can still go to like non-crowded places and do activities there so me and my friend we're going to noosa head and we're gonna try to find the fairy pools so it's gonna be a fun day and i don't have to study for the day well i'll probably still do some anki flashcards because we have a really long train ride to get there um but yeah, no like serious, intense studying. So yeah, I'm excited. So I gotta pack up for that and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, we're up and at them. It's early in the morning. I just covered my hair in conditioner cause I might be, I, I'm definitely getting in the ocean. I know myself. Um, so yeah, time to go. And I'm gonna meet Amy at the train and we're gonna go to Nissa. So, you know, we just uh, talked through how our blood pressure is changing and what chemo receptor or bear receptors are doing right now. So, this was basically a study day. Exactly. <laughs> was... you know, the carotid bear receptors, this is the aortic bear receptors, and like the sympathetic nervous system. Yes. Like, so, we got this. We know everything. We're yeah. done. We're done. We studied. Oh my gosh. How are you feeling? Oh. <laughs> me in with her phone and my freaking camera and I'm like, I like disassembled it and let it out to dry in the sun. Oh my gosh. I hope it's okay. It'll be fine. I don't know how Shelly's been doing it. Like what? I've been in the water for like 30 minutes getting hit by waves and thrown back and forth. And my loyal friend here, I got a lot of footage and she fell in, but she's okay. Yeah, she's she alive. <laughs> I had to like grab my camera for me because I was like drowning. <laughs> oh my gosh. But hey, the waves are cute. They're beautiful. This is gorgeous. Hey, I can, yeah, we can just stay here all day. This is a good choice, yeah. R.I.P. for this one butterfly that got caught in a wave. I've just experienced my first Australian wildlife bite. <laughs> I got stung by the Australian hornet. Picture right here. Um, good news, nothing's wrong. I put some, what is it? 
hydrocortisone. hydrocortisone on it and I'm not allergic so we're fine but we're gonna keep an eye on it but yeah Australia Okay, time to go. Yep, bye. Alright, so we're back to the beach. We just walked back from the pools and I got my first Australian insect bite. I think I stepped in the way of its spider because when I saw it, it was dragging a spider out of the way and it was like a big spider. Like the spider was like this big, but the hornet was dragging a spider out of its way and I think I stepped in its way and it stung me on my ankle. Um, but luckily, you know, I don't have any bee allergies. I googled it and it seems like the hornets don't have enough like venom in them to hurt a human but the wildlife out here is crazy but I'm okay we're okay good afternoon so we got back from Noosa pretty late last night so I slept in and now we're putting a mask through my hair so that the beach does not destroy my curls um so yeah i'm gonna rinse that out and do some cleaning around here because my apartment is slowly falling apart turns out being in your apartment so often makes it get messy a lot faster who knew so yeah rinsing that out cleaning up eating some lunch and then we're gonna start being productive so i just got an email i'm officially doing online med school for the rest of the semester. Um, so I don't think I'll be doing any work today just cause the news is just settling in for me. Like I think I knew that we were gonna transition to online classes, but like the finality of them saying to the end of the semester is just still shocking. So I think I'm gonna take a break for today and just like get my head together. But like, it's just really, wow. It's really interesting just how different, I don't wanna say sad because I mean, obviously other people had much more exciting, interesting, significant plans than starting med school, but it's just very unexpected for the start of such a big like time in your life to be going so differently than how you had pictured it um i need to stop touching my face but um i think there's like there's good that's gonna come out of it um i think that i'm gonna just get an opportunity to learn and practice a lot of intrinsic motivation and discipline in that my schedule is going to be pretty much completely my own like there's no attendance now there's no like places i need to be at x time if everything's online um so yeah that's something to process i'm like as much as i'm shocked right now i'm hoping that I can see the good that can come out of this whole situation. And I'm praying that everyone else is able to find joy amidst all of the confusion going on right now. Um, but yeah, I was gonna sit down to do some work uh, when I got the email, but now I think I'm just gonna like, I don't know, read a book, <laughs> watch some Netflix, maybe, start cooking i have like a little food left for this week but i could start cooking for next week um just so that i am doing something productive but i don't think i can get in the right headspace to study and granted this week was truly a week off like everything's getting pushed back our test has been postponed a week so it's not like i'm losing time and i'm being lazy like this vlog will probably be the least studying i've ever done in a vlog uh, while school is technically going on <laughs> but i'm just gonna take a break for today and see how i feel tomorrow um but yeah plans change guys you gotta put your you can't God laughs at our plans, you know, like our plans are not 
significant when we at the end of the day are not in control so I can rest in that and we're gonna move forward so we're just gonna chill the rest of the day happy Saturday it is probably like 24 hours after when I last filmed a piece of this vlog um, to catch you up I spent the morning just facetiming my friends and I trimmed my hair um, and I've been just like chilling and praying and just trying to wrap my head around what's going down in the world um but I think this is gonna be a good thing I think that I'm gonna learn a lot about discipline and stewardship and taking control of my time in this season of online learning for medicine. And I think we're gonna get more just information about what that looks like on a day to day with classes like anatomy and like things that you're supposed to have like tactile experiences with. Um, but I'm just, I'm now excited. As much as yesterday I was like in shock a little bit. But now I'm just kind of like excited to see what I'm gonna learn through this. Like, of course I'm gonna learn medicine, but like, I think I'm gonna learn a lot about myself and being a responsible adult through this home time management thing. So yes, um, I think I'm gonna close out the vlog here cause weirdly, as much as I feel like I thought nothing would happen this week, I feel like so much happened this week and this should be enough um but i'm also gonna vlog next week so you guys can see the first week of what online medical school looks like and so i can have record of how crazy the world is right now so i'm excited for it i'm gonna close this out and i'll see y'all soon